Zero Two and the Bush Baby, and the Bush Baby was so fun to play with. He had a little leash, and I'd hold him in my arms, and he's like, blah, 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 and he'd like... Yo, Swayze Nation, I hear Bush Baby, I find that type offensive. <laughs> it's a fucking... You went to the offensive. It was no offense intended, just like when we stopped to go get McDonald's earlier, and we ended up at KFC, and he was just like, it's okay, it's not racist. I wanted fucking ranch and hot sauce. What did they give you? One ranch and a bunch of hot sauce. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Swayze TV. You already know it's your boy Swayze. I'm here with my guy, Matty Mo. Fucking nation. I'm here with Jared Dixon. Good vibes or goodbye. So, here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do try to switch it up a little bit. Uh, my boy Jared, he went ahead and uh, pulled up a whole bunch of random ass fucking questions on his phone and we're gonna sit here and we're gonna get to know each other a little bit better so we're gonna go ahead and let Jared start go ahead and pull that first question brother my question is if animals could talk which would be the rudest I feel like it'd be pigeons and they'd have a cockney accent oi cat give me some of your chips yeah I could, I could <laughs> agree with that like baboons for sure if baboons could talk to us they would be like hey Fuck you, your soul, and everything you've got, and then they're gonna run around the trees and beat everybody up with and their smack super human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Living their best life, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mo. If I had one choice, it'd have to be cats. Cats, cats would be always such have that look, dick, like that dude. something mean to say, and they're just if they had the words to say it, they fucking would. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Well, I take cats. I take <laughs> mine back. I want to put mine on the Aristocats. Little they sassy would bitches. definitely <laughs> be the fucking yes. worst. Oh, what mythical creature would improve the world most if it existed? What? Uh, Unicorns. <laughs> Alright, but the but the one that would change the world, uh, Hermione Granger. That's not a mythological creature. That is okay. my mythological creature right so there. Wizards? Witches. But I mean, they're, yeah. they're, they're a modern day witches. So no, like, just her magic. magic. No, no, not just like witches say, and if, wizards. You're if a there wizard, was one Harry. creature that could entirely change the world, it'd be fucking genies. Because one person could make one wish and it would change everything. And genies are complicated too. Not like Aladdin's genie, but like genies do their best to like manipulate your wish enough to where it would Even Aladdin's genie did. So the spectrum. No, his genie worked with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah his, his genie, genie was with him. Yeah, yeah. His genie like in mythology, like a legit one. Yeah, they were no, like, they, 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 they manipulated it. enough to like fuck you up. Or sometimes fuck up. That'd be a lot of very nice. That'd be fun for what I'm looking for. That'd be fun for the furry community. Okay, uh, listen. Alright, guys, y'all see where this comment just took a fucking turn? We're on to our next question. (laughs) If your five year old self suddenly found themselves inhabiting your current body, what would your five year old self do first? And if my five year old body woke up with me now, It'd be thoroughly disappointed to start. Like, what the fuck did you do to <laughs> Yeah, what are, we, what are you fucking doing? We had right? goals here. <laughs> and then it would probably go to rehab. So, fun. How about you? I'd wake up and be surprised with how much childish shit is still in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this! I had this was so many years ago. Why do I still have this? And I'd be so excited. Too. Disney's doing live action movies now? What? Yes! <laughs> Alright, on a solemn note, I'd wake up and five-year-old me, I'd just thank myself that I'm still alive to this day. No, that's fair. You did you did good, Sean. You could have been anywhere else, but you you pulled through the fuckery and you made it. That's what I five-year-old me should be proud. I um, bet your little five-year-old me would wake up and be like, well, I expected this, I got this, time to keep it moving. Just say it. I've been through a lot of weird shit, especially little five-year-old me. <laughs> He'd be proud. What's the weirdest thing a guest has ever done at your house? I don't want to know. Of your knowledge. Of your knowledge. Because I know some nasty shit has happened at y'all's establishments. So what is the most ratchet shit that's ever happened of your knowing? And I'm going to take a skip on this one. Oh, well, in high school, my friend Marie and her boyfriend sit over at my house, and he was... So drunk that he pissed on my futon in his sleep. <laughs> Can it be me that I did this? Because it's like a terrifying story that I did. Wait, wait, let me. What's the weirdest thing I guess? 
Are you I a was, guest in your own house? No, yeah. I was a guest in another person's house, but like, okay. you're giving it to me right now. So you were so, the guest. All right, but what's the most it. embarrassing thing you've done in someone's house? So I had a tooth pulled, and I'd never taken any kind of like heavy medications, and they gave me something with a pee. It was, um, so they pulled my teeth, and they gave me this strong ass drug. Practice set. And Miley it wasn't Prilosec. Prilosec's were like, no, no Percocet. Percocet, it was Percocet. It, it, oh, so it was so a Percocet, okay. I, I drank on it, and I didn't know the, the consequences, which was kind of stupid on my end, but I woke up. No, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I went to go find the bathroom, and instead I found my friend's armchair. And I straight up, he had a bunch of clothes laid on it, Dior, like beautiful clothes, and I just whizzed all over his no. beautiful designer clothes. I was so mortified. You even sprayed too. It wasn't he just was like like so like, Why don't you talk you to me? He's like, like, douse that. Oh, no, I, like, I literally soaked his chair. Oh, oh my so god. <laughs> if peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Woo! Okay. Let me start. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, it would be called that shit that goes with grape jelly. Okay. Honestly though, on my real answer, like I don't think there is a more fitting name for peanut butter than what it is. It literally is peanut butter, so. I'm a little more analytical. Gotta say, if it's not peanut butter, what's, what does it start with? Is it nut butter? Because nobody wants to eat nut butter. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I see the brown nutty shit. <laughs> the brown, brown nutty shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> no. That's not well, uh, if we were to rename a peanut butter and jelly Isn't sandwich, I would right? name it a peanut colada. Ooh, that could be yummy. A little bit of rum, some peanut butter. What was that Throw show that came on? Was it Disney? Was it with the otters? Peanut butter and jelly? Peanut butter with the otters? <laughs> it. it was a cute show. Somebody will remember it.